Hello, this is Kalotron Plays, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, guys, I'll be showing you a super simple farm that makes use of the TNT duplicator I showed off last week to f automatically farm cobblestone super simply and super efficiently. So, if you like the sound of that, please make sure to drop a like on the video, and if you really do enjoy it, then please make sure to subscribe. But anyway, let's get straight into this. So, behind me, what I have here is the auto cover mining contraption and really it's comprised of about four separate sections but all of them are really simple in itself first of all we have a cobblestone or well, we have a stone generator down here there are some pistons that are waterlogged under these um you know i'll just uh i'll turn this off for now and deactivate these pistons because they are quite noisy but yeah down here we have a, a stone generator with lava and some pistons and that will create stone and that gets pushed over in this section by the next contraption which is our timing circuit. This is a little hopper clock that fires a double pulse through the circuit um, to push the stone across and clear any lava that builds up in the system very quickly. Then up here we have two systems. First of all, we have the TNT duplicator system right here, and this is periodically activated by the hopper clock that we have here. It's a very simple contraption. Items flow out of one hopper into the other, and once they've done that twice, a, a signal is passed through this monostable circuit, firing the duplicator and letting a piece of TNT drop. And the reason we have this circuit at the back here with two pistons and two observers is simply to update these pistons because sometimes they don't exactly do that themselves so now that I've showed you how this thing works let's show you how you can make it okay so we're going to start by placing by going two blocks up and then we're going to place three blocks along now on top of these three blocks we're going to want to place three pistons and then what we're going to do is completely surround them with um, stone blocks or any block of your choice. Just around them except for the piston face. So just going to build up around here like this. And then you're probably also going to want to put blocks here and here. Next step you're going to want to take is put an obsidian block here and here. And then a line of three just there. Then what we can do is we can waterlog our three pistons, just like that. Then place lava on top. And now we have the stone, well, we have the area for the stone to be generated. Next thing we're going to do is work on the clock. So we're going to place one block out here and cover all three of these, um, or four of these blocks with redstone. Then I'm going to place two blocks up. Then get, a, get an observer facing upwards, just like that. Then we can break this block, and out here, you can place four more blocks. Now up on here, what we're going to have is just over there, just like over there, we're going to have a simple hopper clock. So we've got four um, hoppers facing into each other in a loop, and we're going to place the, this comparator running out of this hopper right here. Now we're not going to place an item in these hoppers yet, but we are going to later on. It's just we don't want this circuit firing off while we're still making the whole contraption. And so after that, the next step you're going to want to take is to create some defensive measures, or a 3x3 three three area here, a 3x3 three three hole, and you're going to want to build up obsidian walls, two high obsidian walls, just like this around it. Now this is because otherwise most of the explosions would escape the chamber and they'd more likely than not destroy some of the build. Um, so anyway, after you've got all that in place, you're going to want to grab um, some more blocks of your choice and a storage unit of your choice as well. And what we're going to do now is, from the centre here, we're going to go one, two blocks down. Then we can place our storage unit, followed by a hopper. Now down here, we're going to be creating the chamber for all of the cobblestone to be collected in. So what we're going to do is going to build two blocks down, a two block wall around this area, just like this, 
and we can keep going around like this until all of this is completely blocked off then in here we're going to want to place blocks here well almost all over the floor except for these two blocks where we're going to place them one up like that then we can place our water buckets here and here and the water should funnel itself right into this hopper down there now that we've got all that in place we can finally activate our a our um clock here by just throwing in any old item and this will mean that whenever the cobblestone is broken new ones will be generated and they won't extend any further than this because there's obsidian blocking the path anyway the next thing we're going to get to work on is this sort of hopper clock up here so so a good point of reference is to go from this block right in the corner of this 3x3 area and what we're going to do is we're going to base everything up here around that piston right there. So we're going to take it from here and build 9 blocks up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then we can place our sticky piston on the top and then remove this tower of blocks that we have right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a block at the back of this sticky piston and place some redstone dust on it. Then we're going to create a 7x5 platform, this being the front center, and so we're going to go 1, 2, 3 out to this side, and also 1, 2, 3 out to this side, and then take it 4 back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you can build out this platform just like this. Then after you've done that, what you're going to do is you're going to take a block up here, and then have another block here, with a repeater on two ticks running into this one followed by a sticky piston with a block on its face just like that then we're going to place a block here and a block here both of these need redstone on top of them and comparators running into them then what we're going to do is take two pistons and put one on top of each comparator and they take two more and put them facing upwards beside the comparators now what we're going to do is we're going to have two hoppers running into each other just like this so they can transfer their items and then place a redstone block on top of this hopper. Next what we're going to do is have an observer facing in this direction so it's facing into that piston and another one facing to this piston so you get this kind of alternating action that will constantly update the other pistons. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a lever and we're going to place it right here next to this hopper so we can activate or deactivate the circuit. Next we're going to place in 11 items here and that should set the clock going but for now we're going to switch that off so we can safely work on the flying machine or rather the TNT duplicator. So all we need to do here is grab some slime blocks, some detector rails and a minecart as well as one block of TNT. Now I'm just going to turn off this observer clock right here while we work on this so what we want to do is have one block coming off the piston followed by three underneath it and another one right there now we're going to place one block on this edge and uh, followed by two up like this and two on the bottom then we can remove this center block and this corner block just like that and place detector rails here and here next you can place our minecart on top of this detector rail and place a TNT next to this one. Now what we can do is we can activate the circuit and you should see now everything is sticking together and after the next pulse we should see, oh sorry no, we need to put the observer back in but you should see that after the next pulse this TNT will be dropped down here and there we go it lands in the center, it destroys every stone block there and everything starts together in this barrel right here or you could have a chest, but yes, that is how it works very simply. So TNT block drops down, it explodes, then you should see the stone regenerates at the bottom there. Um, sometimes it will regenerate faster than others, um, but often 11 blocks or 11 items in the hopper is fast enough. It honestly just depends on how fast the stone regenerates, so here we go. This time you see it's a lot faster and it works perfectly fine. So now we can turn this off. And that is, that is it ladies and gentlemen. That is the super simple cobblestone farm. It's really easy to build, 
just a couple modules that work together to make a pretty cool functioning farm that will get you infinite amounts of cobblestone, even if it is a bit slow. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, this has been Caleb John Plays, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!